Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Coffee with Northeast Title Services. And today we're going to be chatting with Rafe Lieber. Hi, Rafe. How are you? Hi, Faye. How are you? Good. I'm great. Thank you for joining me for coffee today. Well, it's my pleasure. Why not? Another day in the trenches. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that you're getting loads of questions, people contacting you. There's so much misinformation out there about what's going on with real estate options. There's just, it's all up in the air and people want some answers to their questions. So I wanted to chat with you today, walk us through what's going on and bring us up to date. Yeah, uh, there are a ton of questions right now uh, from uh, buyers, from sellers, from agents, from banks, uh, from attorneys, uh, from our own staff, from uh, our underwriters, everybody. Everybody is... Uh, uh, trying to figure this out. Things have uh, uh, smoothed out, uh, I would say, over the past week or so, uh, as we're all getting used to sort of this new normal that we're living in. But uh, you know, we, there are some challenges, and and some of the some of the challenges are, of course, um, uh, are are people buying, uh, are people selling, uh, all of the things that are happening sort of in the realtor world with uh, uh, open houses and. And that's, that's, that's sort of a, a, a thing that's affecting our, our business in general. But the process is what we're dealing with right now. And there are a lot of challenges with that, including uh, how do you close in person? Uh, one of the things that uh, we've never had in New York before uh, was the ability to close, have our closings happen uh, kind of like we're doing it right now on a Zoom call. Uh, there are several states that, that do allow that. New York did not until about uh, two weeks ago. The governor signed an executive order suspending the rules, uh, stating that notaries must be uh, uh, witnessing signatures in person. And Rachel, there are now just a quick question. And we are real estate is deemed essential at this point, correct? Real estate is deemed essential uh, as as title. We are deemed essential because we fall under insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, so th these things are still, uh, uh, everything's happening, but just because we're deemed essential, there are other things that uh, uh, are still not quite operational, uh, especially the counties and the towns. One of the things um, having the counties and the towns in lockdown um, make it difficult for us to do our job in respect to searching uh, public records. but. They all have at least some sort of uh, uh, remote operation uh, downstate. So while things are taking longer, it's taking longer for us to put together our reports, uh, it's still happening. And we're still able to get that done. Um, sorry, Faye, I keep getting... Uh, that's okay. Phone call. It's, it's um, a new Zoom room. Uh, We're good. Keep going. Okay. Um, so, um, recording documents is is uh, uh, a challenge. Recording mortgages, recording deeds. Uh, that's one of the things that is causing us to have to have borrowers sign extra indemnification affidavits, uh, which some attorneys are comfortable with, others are not. And that presents our uh, another challenge that we're facing, which is some attorneys are causing um, closings not to happen because they're advising their borrowers not to sign. Now, one of the things we've done to try to ease attorneys' uh, uh, minds is initially these affidavits and this language was included in the title policy, and that was a requirement for, from our underwriters. Now it is not. We have pulled the language out of the policy, and we have the borrowers sign separate affidavits, which is making the attorneys uh, a lot more comfortable. So we it's progress. Through that challenge. So we work through that. With that's the correct. We work through that, and that that's a lot. That's that's created a significant amount of progress. Which is very crucial, important to making sure, in in some sort of way, to have business as usual function in a real and for real estate, which is very essential. Again. That is correct. Yeah, of course. I mean, with that, the, the housing market uh, is the uh, lifeblood and the heartbeat of our economy. 
And as bad as things are with the economy right now, I think it would be a lot worse if they uh, completely froze the housing market. So it's good that the state uh, has recognized that we are an essential service, and uh, they are they have given us some tools to really help get through uh, 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 this uh, unbelievable situation. And so. you, uh, with Northeast, are you're on top of things. I mean, daily, uh, and just finding out what what you need to do to help people get through the process and weeding through it's, that information. It's it's crucial for us to stay on top because things don't change daily; they change hourly. Uh, so one of the things that I've been doing is just monitoring. Uh, any uh, latest changes, we, differences between how counties are operating, how underwriters are, what they're requiring. Um, what uh, we're actually one of the one of the cool things about uh, the attorneys, we're getting a lot of feedback from attorneys on what's been working, what hasn't, and it's helped us uh, to sort of tailor our operations to to make things work. Uh, you know, we we speak to our underwriters, we let them know what we're hearing what, what we're seeing so everybody's working together and it is uh, an hour by hour uh, situation uh, which is in a way it's actually kind of exciting it's actually it's very exciting it's kind of fascinating especially how we're we're evolving with this new model and you guys are right on top of things speaking with the underwriters speaking with the attorneys to get things done at the end of the day for things to get done and closings are still getting done Closings are getting done. They don't look like uh, uh, traditional closings. Sometimes you have people, you have closers show up uh, um, at someone's home. They don't go in, and they literally witness signatures through the window. Um, people meeting in parking lots, parking their cars next to each other, doing the same thing. It's it's pretty wild, uh, but we're getting it done because we have to. So the, the right now, it's sort of the traditional, everybody's at the closing table, uh, 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 you know, scene that people are used to, that's really not happening. Well, it's pretty... So we adjust. I, I find that uh, what's pretty amazing is that you guys are finding ways, new ways to get things done while still practicing, staying safe, uh, social distancing, and doing getting things done, which is crucial, but in the safest way, while still being on top of things, seeing what's available, and kind of even with... with um, you know, with the challenge, with the county clerk's offices, you guys worked through it, found a way to get through it, and you're pretty much on top and sending out information. If anybody has any questions, concerns, uh, what do you recommend? Uh, how do they get in touch with you? What's the what's the best one? Yeah, I mean, um, anybody can, can call me uh, or email me. They do, <laughs> people all day. Um, we are trying to provide the most up-to-date, best uh, information that we can. One of the good things about how uh, all of this is shaking out is everybody really is working together. Everybody is, when I mean everybody, I mean the uh, attorneys, the, the, the lenders, uh, the, the underwriters, the title company. You know, we're all working together. We all understand nobody's really being uh, uh, irrational, which is nice. Um, uh, I, I haven't really had uh, situations that I can say uh, that I've had to tell somebody, come on, you know, it, it's not uh, business as usual. I, I find that everybody's really understanding, and it's, it's making things a lot easier, which is great. Because I think everybody, want, they want, as usual, we all want to get deals done. We all want to close deals. Um, but people are, are really uh, being understanding of the situation, and, and, and it's helping to close these deals. And we are. We're closing deals, which is great. And I, I think we're going to continue to close deals. I really do. It's wonderful uh, to see that the message that really has been from, from high to from every level, to see that even like this, people are coming together to get things done, to, you know, uh, get rid of um, bogging down and just keep things moving forward. And the only way that's gonna happen is working together and staying together. And it's great to hear that it's actually working. Yeah, I, I do, I, I, I'm, I'm happy about that. I, I think that uh, you know, one of the things, everybody's talking about what are we gonna learn from this? What's the world gonna look like? Uh, I think our world is gonna change a little bit too. Uh, we're gonna be doing more things remotely uh, than we ever did before. Um, but uh, I think that, 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, net, networking is certainly going to change. Um, it, it already has, but uh, uh, we're going to see. Uh, and maybe it'll make things better. Maybe it'll streamline things. I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I, I'm. I'd, I'd love to return to to mostly normal uh, as soon as possible, but who knows? Maybe uh, uh, we'll be able to get some of these closings done more streamlined uh, after learning how to do all this stuff remotely and and uh, new way and, of doing, quickly. it might be the new way of doing business um i wanted to ask you uh, before we wrap up um what are you still seeing as some of the challenges in the clerk's office and are they uh, in the counties and are, are they working through them as well working with you guys to help things happen smoothly so the main challenge in the clerk's office is, is just personnel uh it's it's people actually being there um, one of the things as a title company is we have sort of extra, uh, our examiners get extra access uh, to the clerk's office. They get uh, to be there an hour earlier. Um, they, they're just, cause they're there every single day pulling records. Uh, our examiners uh, do not have access uh, to the counties. Um, and Nassau County currently has almost zero personnel. Suffolk County has a little bit, uh, uh, there are more people. Uh, that are actually going to the clerk's office, but um, what the biggest, uh, uh, the, the two biggest challenges that, that that presents to us is, number one, we can't run our searches the way we used to, uh, which means we can't put together our abstract report, which is the meat and potatoes of the title report, um, so it takes longer to do that. The other challenge is recordings. We can't record mortgages. Uh, we can't record deeds the way we used to. Luckily, um, we can still e-record, so electronic recording, um, through in Nassau and in Suffolk. And uh, the thing is, though, they're, they're, even though it's e-recording, there has to be a human being receiving it on the other side in order for it, in order for it to be valid and legal. Uh, luckily, Nassau does have somebody doing that, and Suffolk has had somebody doing it all along. Uh, so we can record, but it takes longer, and that's uh, the main uh, challenge in respect to indemnifying the title companies. That, that uh, to in, to a borrower, to a buyer, the deal closed, but not to us. Title was not transferred uh, um, until that is all recorded. So there is a, a period of time where uh, if the borrowers and the buyers think that uh, they've uh, received title. Uh, but they really haven't. Uh, so we, uh, we're, we're, that's the main challenge as far as recording go. We're working through that. So, I mean, that, that's a lot of information, but a very important imperative. But what I'm also hearing is that there, there are ways and steps that are being taken that, again, you guys are able to work through it and get business done. My, my yeah, well, like I said, because because we can e-record uh, now in Nassau County, that has opened up uh, uh, our ability to close. There was a period of time where it looked like we might not be able to close deals in Nassau County, but um, uh, that that is not the case anymore. Mm -hmm. So it, it's personnel. That's that's really what it comes down to is personnel in the county offices. We need we just we need to have it, and and they're and now they're 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 there pretty much everywhere. So they're listening to feedback too as well. Again, what just to kind of bring it home to the message you've been saying, things are getting done. Everyone's coming together. Everyone's working together. It's a team effort between the title, legal, um, finance. Uh, it's all it's working. It, and you guys have found like a new norm and a way to make this model work and business happen. And that's pretty awesome and amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I think we, we didn't have a choice. You adapt, um, adapt to survive, and that's what we've done, and we, continue, and we will continue to do so as things uh, move forward and, uh, and, and shift, uh, and uh, it looks like our partners uh, in real estate are doing that as well. So we'll continue to keep them informed, and we will continue to remain informed, and we will continue to close deals. And keep us informed. We can meet for coffee and chat again because it's crucial. Absolutely. I'm more than happy anytime you want. No, I'm, thank you for joining us today. I mean, the information was, is imperative and crucial, but it's also, it sheds a lot of uh, positive needed light and on what's going on and things are functioning. So thank you for joining us today. 
My Thank pleasure, Faye. Thank you for with you. Hey, Ray. Thank you for having me. I know you're infamous on the island for your networking events. Have you shifted your virtual model and getting together for networking online? Are we going to be looking for Zoom networking now? So I, I think I do about six or seven Zoom calls a day at this point. Um, some of them are internal business. Others are just uh, saying hello, uh, speaking to, to my and others are just saying hi to friends and family, um, but you know, speaking to clients and, and uh, centers of influence, try to stay uh, as in touch as possible. Obviously, it doesn't compare uh, to being out and uh, uh, making introductions, uh, trying to help people develop their book of business. That's the way I operate. Uh, right now, I think it's more of a maintain uh, operation, and I think everybody's kind of doing that. Um, so. Do I think that will be the new normal? No, nothing, when it comes to networking, nothing compares to, to actually being with people. I don't see a lot of, uh, uh, maybe some virtual networking platforms will, will arise, uh, but at the end of the day, sometimes the, uh, the old school way is, is still the best way, and I don't see that going away. Okay. There may be fewer restaurants to go to, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll adapt and, and we'll continue to network uh, and, and build everybody's business. We're looking forward to that, Ray. Stay safe, stay well, and thank you for chatting and sharing a cup of coffee. You too. Thanks, Faye. Thank you.